Hello and welcome. It's good to have you join. Today we will talk about a historic day, September the 8th, 2022, a truly sad day for the whole world. On that day, Queen Elizabeth II died. She was a historic figure as she was one of the oldest living and serving monarchs. With her gone, now her eldest son, Prince Charles, would take to the throne. Today, I want to share some historic moments and facts about the Queen. Stay tuned if you want to find out more. Elizabeth II was the eldest daughter of Prince Albert, Duke of York, and his wife, Lady Elizabeth Beauce Lyon. Her father acceded to the throne in 1936 upon the abdication of his brother, King Edward VIII, and made Elizabeth the presumptive heir. The prince's education was supervised by her mother and had instruction from visiting teachers in music and languages. In September 1939, Brinton entered the Second World War. Lord Hailsham suggested that Princess Elizabeth and her sister Margaret should be evacuated to Canada to avoid the frequent aerial bombings of London. But this was rejected by her mother. They lived mostly at Balmoral Castle in Scotland and at the Royal Lodge, Windsor and Windsor Castle, away from London, separated from their parents. 14-year-old Elizabeth addressed other children who had been evacuated from the cities during the children's hour and gave them courage to face the situation. When she turned 18 in 1944, she insisted upon joining the Auxiliary Territorial Services, the woman's branch of the British Army. King George made sure that his daughter was not given a special rank in the army. She started as a second subaltern in the ATS and was later promoted to junior commander, the equivalent of captain. She was the first female of the royal family to be an active duty member of the British Armed Forces. Princess Elizabeth began her training as a mechanic in March 1945. She spent the majority of her days at the training facility. She always preferred staying back at the camp with her fellow ATS members rather than going back to Windsor Castle, which was very close by. When war in Europe ended in 1945, thousands of people took to the streets to celebrate. Princess Elizabeth, dressed in her ATS uniform, slipped into the crowds of her sister to enjoy the festives. There are even reports that the princesses joined the conga dance through the Ritz Hotel as they celebrated with the crowds. In 1952, when she heard the death of her father, King George VI, she was in Kenya with her husband, Prince Philip. Without delay, she returned home when she was proclaimed Queen Elizabeth II, aged just 25. Elizabeth's succession to the throne was proclaimed at the Ascension Council. This took place in St. James Palace and was attended by members of the Privy Council, the Lord Mayor and Aldermen of the City of London. During 1955 to 1977, she visited several nations including Australia, New Zealand, European nations, Canada and the United States. In 1961, she made the first Royal British tour of Indian subcontinent in 50 years. She was the first reigning British monarch to visit South America and the Persian Gulf countries. In 1977, Elizabeth marked the Silver Jubilee of her accession. Parties and events took place throughout. The celebrations reaffirmed Elizabeth's popularity. Annus Horribilis, a Latin phrase meaning horrible year. In the 1990s, the royal family faced a number of challenges. Prince Charles and his wife Diana, Princess of Wales, separated, as they did Prince Andrew and his wife Sarah, Duchess of York. In addition, the country struggled with a recession, anger over the royal's lifestyle mounted. In 1992, Elizabeth, although personally exempt, agreed to pay taxes on her private income. In 2002, Elizabeth celebrated her 50th year on the throne. As part of her Golden Jubilee, events were held throughout the Commonwealth, including several days of festivities in London. The public standing of the royal family rebounded, and even Charles' 2005 marriage to Camilla Parker Bowles found much support among the British people. In 2012, Elizabeth celebrated her Diamond Jubilee, marking 60 years on the throne. She was the longest reigning monarch ever in Britain, beating Queen Victoria. During the Covid pandemic, 
the 75th anniversary of the Victory in Europe Day in a television broadcast at 9 p.m., the exact time at which her father George VI had broadcast it to the nation on the same day in 1945, she asked the people to never give up, never despair. In April 2021, Prince Philip died, having dealt with several physical setbacks. Because of social distancing protocols, the Queen sat alone in a choir stall in St. George's Chapel at Privilege Funeral. The widely circulated images of her tragic isolation were heartbreaking but symbolic of the dignity and courage that she brought to the, her reign. In June 2022, Britain celebrated the Queen Elizabeth's 17th birthday on the throne with the Platinum Jubilee, a four-day national holiday including a Thanksgiving service at St. Paul's Cathedral, a pop music concert at Buckingham Palace, and a pageant that employed street arts, theater, music, circus, carnival, and costume to honor the Queen's reign. Queen Elizabeth was known to favor simplicity in court life and was also known to take a serious and informed interest in government business. As Queen, she was served by 15 UK Prime Ministers. She was the only person in the UK allowed to drive without a license. Her financial and property holdings made her one of the world's richest women. Thank you for listening. If you like the content, please do not forget to like and subscribe.